You didn't start yet, did you? Oh no. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Gamer Breakfast. My name is Jal Bagel. And I am joined here with my beautiful, amazing, wonderful, incredibly supportive, and definitely uh uh husband, Squoy Skull. <laughs> You're getting back in the machine of things. You're getting you're getting back I, in the swing yeah, of things. Yeah, dude, I haven't I haven't sat behind this computer in four days. I know, dude. You were doing stuff though. You weren't you weren't just gone just to be like, nah, fuck it, not doing content for a while. You were in the content. I was. I was. I was. Um, waist deep in in content. I was gonna say something gross. I decided not to. <laughs> I could tell your brain was working. <laughs> <laughs> but good morning. All the cogs were turning. Oh yeah. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, we're gonna be talking. We have a lot to talk about because a lot of things just came out. Jal was at like a huge event that was happening that like beca became like the the basically the highlight of the show. He was at GDQ. I was. <laughs> I'm so proud of you because it's just like Thank not you. only I'm gonna, I'm gonna like hype you up real quick because I, I know you love receiving compliments and you're so I used really to do. it it's actually my favorite thing oh really so I'll, I'll, I'll take them I'll, I'll, I'll sit here and wait hell yeah um so you were at GDQ which was absolutely amazing yeah. not only were you there yep. you were doing you're trying to adjust to sunbreak so that was like a huge step mm -hmm. because you're, <laughs> you're trying to like you get used to playing through base rise with some rig just releasing that day yep you got a lot of help from um the community managers for monster hunter to with that a little bit you got an early access just to kind of yep. get into the swing of shout things outs. shout outs to jono thank you for helping me with that jono i really do appreciate i look because i literally messaged him day of like when yeah. everyone else was like already had planned to have early access and stuff like that and i messaged him day of and i was like hey jono you know it'd be really <laughs> cool and he worked he worked through it with me and, and explained the limitations and like what i could and couldn't do with it because what because what he didn't want right is that i put the the beta release on like the the gdq computer i was like no no, no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that like well, i'll figure out a way to do that you know yeah. what i'll do is just test it and then see if i'm gonna stay up until you know midnight to download it and then get on a plane at 2 a.m oh yeah so you you did really really good with that and um not only that but you were at the gdq event you were you were with green speed and dj johnny which two absolutely did and johnny absolute fantastic job with you on stage when you're at gdq do you guys practice like for like weeks to get this all set up uh we practiced two days <laughs> i was practicing for months like just doing the run and yeah. getting comfortable with it and understanding what to do because what what i knew was going to happen for commentary was that i mean i i i, I said like I'll carry this commentary, right? Like, I don't, I don't mind that. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about things. I'm going to bring up things. I'm going to ask you guys to talk about things. So don't, don't worry about like a script. Like we'll talk about like what needs to be brought up in what order. Like we talked about it literally an hour before um, I went up there. Like we need to change everything because they were like really behind by the time my run got up there. My run was delayed two hours. Mm. And, um, and so they were trying to like expedite a lot of things. I said, okay, I'm going to cut out like 50% of what I was going to talk about, leave more time for donations. Um, and, uh, we're going to talk about these things at the very beginning. And then after that, there's really not going to be much talking, you know, other than like me talking about fighting the monsters oh, yeah. and, um, no, and, and it went and it went amazing, right? Because like at that point, I had the muscle memory down. Like I, I didn't really have to pay too much attention to the game until I was fighting a monster. So I was just like on autopilot and able to talk about things, and it was it was really good. Oh yeah, it's like for those of you that don't know, because we're just saying GDQ all the time. Uh, <laughs> it, it's it's games done quick. It's a charity live stream event that happens on a course of like what an entire month uh no 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 uh, an entire week entire it's, week uh, it's seven it's seven days for 24 hours like every day yeah. like it, it started it started last saturday and it ended yesterday but it's from saturday to saturday or su sunday to saturday it's seven days 24 hours it, and it's the entire time yeah it's like a it's like a live stream uh they live stream mm -hmm. on twitch they, they do speed runs like a lot of different people come in from uh different games and world. yeah oh yeah all over the world just to mm -hmm. live stream or just to come at this event and speed run uh the games that they play and just save up money for charity um yep. 
huge thing was <laughs> when Jal was live streaming, or when I was, uh, when Jal was at the event with Green Speed and Johnny, um, they reached one. They that was that was when they hit one million dollars for charity. You, yep. Mazda Hunter, you, <laughs> Green Speed and Johnny, Us. you guys. Us. We. Because the community community showed up too, right? Absolutely. Like I, I was able, like, we were able to, like, go back and, like, look at the donations and, like, see who donated. And, like, it was a bunch of Monster Hunter fans. And it was a bunch of names that I recognized. Wow. Um, and it was just a bunch of hype. There were there were over 200 donations in that hour. Wow. Uh, and, and from the time my run started to the time it ended, the, it, um, over uh, $50,000 was raised uh, from start to finish. To, to hit that 1 million mark right because yeah. like you know even beforehand like i was like tweeting out like are we gonna do it are we gonna hit a million like you know like is the monster hunter community gonna do it and then like even like the gdq like twitter was like retweeting that yeah <laughs> i was like yes that's huge monster hunters let's do it oh my gosh and like you all of you guys the monster hunter community literally <laughs> became the highlight of gdq yeah the highlight <laughs> well no i'd say for well, like was... most of the event because that's like because well, they, that's huge so... a million's huge that's like the first goal well, they yeah. try to get to well yeah no and a, and a million is huge they hit yeah. three million last night before it ended Jesus, what <laughs> the last time i saw they were like almost at two million i'm like oh hell yeah get to two million. three million yeah they hit three million last night good lord <sighs> yep so I mean, like it's it's a cool it's a cool milestone to be a part of, right? Because like yeah. hitting that first million um, in the week is in in the marathon is super super exciting. Oh yeah. Um, but then like once you get to the weekend, uh, it, things start picking up and and the schedule starts ramping up and things start getting nutty. Things start getting crazy. Hell yeah. So it was, but it was it was a really unique experience being on that side of the monitor, right? Because like for years like yeah. for eight years i've been watching it from this end right just yeah. watching it on 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 twitch or on youtube and and watching all the speedrunners and like being excited about it and to be on the other side of that was super cool like to be behind the monitor and on the stage and uh and in front of the cameras in front of the lights and it, and it, it like the the funny thing was is that i was anxious waiting to go on stage the moment i was there I felt so much better and I was just like, all right, let's speed run. And then my yeah. cable stopped working and I had to hot oh. swap that. Uh, during the no, run? Every, yeah, during the run, my, <laughs> my, my USB-C for my controller was like disconnecting. And, that, and I knew that cable was shitty, but I grabbed it anyways because it was shorter than the other one that I brought. And I had my backpack sitting like right there next to me on stage. And I was like, well, uh, I have a unskillable cutscene up in a bit, so I'm going to try to hot swap it out then. And so I threw it over to Covert Muffin, who was, who was doing uh, the hosting. Uh, to, to read off donations and i quickly just hot swapped it out <laughs> and so i actually i had green's uh cable in my bag because he was using like my power battery and so i just unplugged that and plugged that in really quick Hell and, yeah. then, uh, and then Good it worked Lord. for the rest of the run perfectly oh my goodness <clears throat> so yeah i guess so, like most of the stress was just leading up to it like i knew you were really yeah. anxious and everything but like you handled you all three of you like handled things like very well uh, it's, it was really awesome to see and it yeah. just seemed like a really relaxed environment where you were at as well. Like the interview, you did great. Mm -hmm. you oh did man, great. Spike is so cool. Uh, and it, like that, that was really neat because I've been watching Spike for years. And, and it was really neat to like actually sit down with him. What was really funny is, is like I, I went to the interview stage, like into the interview setup during the run, like before the interview, which was Slime Rancher. Cause it's only, it's an 18 minute estimate. It's a very quick game. Yeah. Um, and that's a speed run I know. And so, like, we're sitting back there. And I'm just like watching it, like flabbergasted, because he's doing things that like I know how to do, but not yeah. as quickly and not as smoothly and stuff like that. So, so it was really neat because just Spike and I were sitting back there cutting up about Slime Rancher. That's awesome. And, you know, I was telling him about it because we can't really hear the commentary because we're like wearing the headsets and stuff like that, and it's not fed back to us. And so, like, I was like explaining the things to him, and it was just a really neat. It was, it was, it was a surreal moment for me. It was, it was so cool. That's so cool. So this is your like you met your movie star moment kind of thing. I well, because like I mean, uh, especially now, like I especially with with like Twitch streamers, I've realized it's more of like a, a a mutuals kind of thing, right? Because when I go into chats, like they just talk to me like I'm a normal human being. I'm like, oh shit, like I should just do the same thing with them. Oh, absolutely. Right? 
Yeah, just be like, oh my so god, like, that's hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's how it was with with like with like all the GDQ staff, right? With like with like Spike Vegeta and um, I mean, and I didn't get to meet him, but like Jay Hobbs and Keys around. I was trying to like find some time to meet them, but we were only there for two days. Like it, it was really hard to do that. Um, and then like I got to meet like Brian Otto, who's someone that I've been watching forever and been hanging out in his streams. And, like him and I were talking about the schedule and like you know we, we've DM'd a couple of times like on Discord, like whatever. But like I, I just it, it was it was a cool opportunity to meet all those people. But I did have like a celebrity moment. Hmm. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with with micro video you know, micro internet celebrities, um, but uh lawrence sontag who used to be part of funhouse that's how i know him oh is, okay uh, like he 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 does like a lot of like games journalism stuff and um I, I don't know exactly what he's working on now um but he was at gdq for the entire week and i knew that going there but i was like okay yeah cool like lawrence sontag is there like that'd be really cool to like meet him immediately after my run as i walked off the stage lawrence is like just standing right there and i was like lawrence <laughs> and he goes yeah and i'm like you you don't know me, but I'm 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 Jao Bagel, I'm Jeremy. I, 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 it's really cool to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like I just like I kind of like fanned over like that moment and like meeting uh -huh. him for the second, and then like we like talked about like being at GDQ for the because it was his first GDQ too. Oh shit! And it was my first one, there and so go. it was like really cool. It's like yeah, dude, like it's different being on this side of it, and it was it was a really neat moment. But it but it reassured in my brain it's like these are just people just talking yeah, like no. they're people oh absolutely right? but that was definitely like a celebrity moment for you oh. i was like i mean what? you didn't have Sometimes, any time to what? repair Sometimes watch my run yeah. oh yeah no <laughs> no my my brain went from i got off the stage that was a that was a high i'm on a, an adrenaline rush oh shit lawrence sontag <laughs> yeah oh yeah because it, it's not like you see him like way ahead of time you're just like okay you can gather no. yourself and prepare it was like immediately no, i literally was like, walked shit, off of the stage uh, yeah. hi oh, wait <laughs> hi <laughs> yeah i literally walked off the stage he was right there i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> no but it was it was really cool so and i and i know for like for next time too right because like traveling day of was a fucking mistake <laughs> mm -hmm. um because you know i mean like some of you guys know like i had i had like a lot of troubles with my with my flight and stuff like that like i got to the airport and i just didn't have a flight uh shout outs to javier and uh that was like a whole pain like just being anxiety ridden that I wasn't going to make it. So yeah. next time we're going to get there two days before oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, staying definitely. at least a day after. <laughs> Gets the time to like settle, get prepared. Yeah, exactly. And, food. And, <laughs> yeah. Cause like, that was the thing too. It's like, I hadn't eaten all day. Cause I was, I was so anxiety ridden. I hadn't eaten all day. Mm -hmm. And then we finally get there and they're like, Oh, your runs, your runs today. And I was like, yeah. They're like, we need to get you set up on the PCs like now. Yeah. So, I couldn't go and eat. And oh. so uh, Johnny and Green like left and like got us like food. Good. And then I went to the the setup the the to to backstage to like start setting up and stuff and like one of the computers was having problems like let that restart. I'm going to go eat and then I'm going to come back. And mm -hmm. like I ate and I came back and like that was, you know, we we had like tacos. Um and so yeah. like, it wasn't like super <laughs> like I was hungry an hour later. Um but it was it was still good. Mm -hmm. Um and it was just I don't know, like it, the the entire day just like rapid fire like happened and that wasn't good for trying to like take in the experience and like actually like relax around it and like enjoy it so ne next the next time um if if uh if we get invited back the next time we'll we'll go a few days ahead oh yeah and, and stay like a day or two later because like I, I didn't get to meet like you know nearly half as many of the people that i wanted to and i didn't get to watch nearly half as many of the runs that i wanted to mm -hmm. um but it was still a really good time that's great to hear. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy for you, man. Like, I, I, like if I if I could have, uh, I would have like been at, in there oh. at like the audience and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. No, I mean, like... there's there's oh, there's there, there's two of these a year, so there's always next time. But like, it that, that's like the weird thing too. Is like if you aren't like heavily invested in like the speedrunning aspect of stuff, yeah, and like meeting all these people and like like doing things like locally, it's it's kind of boring, right? Like cause that's that's the reason why I didn't go to it in 2000 and I want to say 19 or 2020 in when it was in Orlando last. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna go, but then like none of my friends wanted to go with me. I was like, 
I'm yeah. gonna stay at home. Same thing with the movies with me. Like I, I need someone to go with. I went to a movie theater yeah. by myself to watch an anime movie boring. that came out. It's so boring. Cause I, I came, I drove home crying because <laughs> it was just like all these emotions from the movie. And I was like, okay, this is my time. Like just crying. It was so bored. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good movie, but it was just um, it's so boring watching it with yourself because you can't like share that experience and talk about yeah. it with someone while you're there. So like GDQ. Yeah. This year must have been huge for you because you had other people and friends that you can just oh, like yeah. be there and talk about it with and just get all giddy about it. Oh yeah, no, and it it was a lot of fun too, right? It was it was really funny though because like I woke up two hours before Johnny and Green. Yeah. <laughs> so like I got up in the morning, I sent like a, a text to both of them, and then I just left. <laughs> I went and got like coffee, and then like went back down to the uh, to the stream room and just like sat down there and watched. Um, I got a couple like messages like I see you in the in the audience. I was like, lol, yeah. <laughs> um but it was it was uh i mean it was fun for what it was i actually got to see like some games that i didn't think i would like the speed run for or oh, that yeah. i didn't think i would be in interested in and that was that was actually really cool like the satisfactory speed run was really cool to watch really you know like sa satisfactory is this like like factory sim like resource management game and they speed ran it and that was so cool to watch and like the way that they like moved around the game and how they managed their resources and how they like set up their factories was just like really neat like really mesmerizing to watch and i was like this is gonna be boring and i was like this is actually really cool to see oh yeah so, but it was it was cool That's it was awesome. cool are there like any other games like now that you've been the, i have this experience do you feel like you're just going to continue speed running monster hunter or are you going to like branch out to other things you think well i mean like i i, I will always like be speed running monster hunter like mainly the yeah. game is like i love that game right oh, yeah. but you know i i'm still doing that uh community voted speed run right in, in my community so i'm like trying to instigate people to like submit more ideas but that's kind of like what that was there for is to learn another speed game because i like learning other games um and there's like a neat kind of like concept too that learning other speed games and how they design tech can actually help you kind of like design them for your own game too mm -hmm. you know because like i actually i actually took like a lot of inspiration from like Elden Ring speedrun, or not the Elden Ring, uh, like Dark Souls speedruns, like when World First came out, like understanding like movement and pathing and routing and stuff like that and like resource management. And then like even just understanding like doing things at the same time, you know, can save time mm -hmm. and seeing that in other speed games and how they accomplish it, like trying to apply it to our games, you know? So I, I, always, I always think that like speedrunning other games just helps you speedrun your main game too. Oh, yeah. Ah. <clears throat> uh... I don't know. Like, I, I think like Rise is definitely giving you an opportunity to do this because I don't think if like if mm -hmm. it weren't for Rise, I don't think you would have been able to like even enter in GDQ this year. Yeah, no, I, and I don't think so either, right? Because they 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 put a lot of emphasis on like how much time are they gonna uh, they gonna commit to a game and how many people are gonna watch it. But the the misconception with with Monster Hunter has always been that it is a niche audience and we've talked about this before we literally just yeah. put out a short about this <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> that but they but like the the misconception is that it's a niche uh, western audience and the actuality of it is that it's no longer a niche western audience it's actually a growing western audience like the same size as if not greater uh, greater in size than some of the other games that they've shown there mm -hmm. right and so like for for a game that's like an hour to an hour and a half long like that's a lot of commitment in in a marathon setting like this and even before like trying to get world in that's two hours and, and 50 minutes that i'm trying to like convince you to give me to play this game yeah. on your stage but this this showing mm -hmm. right has really demonstrated that that time wouldn't be wasted Mm -hmm. you know because like there were there were even donations that said like uh it's so awesome to see monster hunter at sgdq at, at a gdq event like when's monster hunter world yeah like, like literally someone donated a thousand dollars just saying monster hunter world win and i was like listen oh. to that guy <laughs> <laughs> Bring back on. Fun speed game. i'll do it for like two and a half hours just give me that time <laughs> yeah no but i and, and i think like world's at a really good spot right now uh that it would be a really good marathon showing especially in a setting like that because there's there's enough downtime between things that you can still keep up like hype for like donations and like meeting like new incentives and like pushing pushing like new goals and like throwing out like the advertisements for the for the stuff like so it world would work really really well 
like better than rise in my opinion because rise is rapid fire right like we oh, talked yeah. about a third of what we wanted to talk about but you know like i had people tell me like the commentary was good and everything felt natural and it didn't feel like scripted it didn't feel rehearsed it it felt good and it was easy to understand at least in the, in the moment right and mm -hmm. so and that that was our only goal with commentary but we wanted to talk about so much and we cut out like all of it but world we could talk about everything and also keep it like bite-sized and then still have time for donations and then even more time for everything else i just think it's the track gathering sequence in the middle that really you know shoots us in the foot um yeah. because if that wasn't there then the game is like fast paced and repetitious enough um because like it's it's literally like 15 minutes of doing fuck all <laughs> you know yeah, it'd be perfect for the commentary but, and just like just talking shit yeah. and stuff so that'd be nice yeah so i mean and, and this this is a good showcase of like that the monster Hunter community is a speedrunning community that that like it's 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 at least a passionate community that no matter what it is they will show up for it and like that's been true for everything that we've done monster hunter right if it's monster hunter the the monster hunter fans show up man they they always 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 do and oh, yeah. Uh, you know, just just keeping that up, I think, and like, and just making sure that they remember that, I think, is the really important part. Because I mean, like, cumulatively, between like the bid wars and the time that the game was on screen, was over sixty thousand dollars. They like to see that kind of stuff, right? That's that's huge, and that's just showing that there is an interest. You know, people are interested in this in this game. They are they are excited to see this game, and oh, yeah. and they are excited to participate in, in GDQ because of it too. So. Really, if you watched SGDQ and you donated it or anything, like I just want to say to our audience, thank you. Yeah. Right. Because that 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 helped make that event even cooler and even bigger. Because I was I was so scared that no one would like it. Right. That I was like, like make a joke and it'd just be crickets. I was gonna like pet the dog and like no one would cheer. <laughs> right. Like I was I was so scared that like we would like do things and like try to have fun with it and everyone would just be like, this game sucks. <laughs> I was so that was my only fear but once once i was like there and saw the energy of it and like literally even just like talk like just introducing the game like everyone cheered i was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay we're fine we're fine <laughs> all right we're good we can we can talk about anything now no and then when I, I i was i was actually so happy about that because during the rampage i started petting the dog um because like someone in my chat was like can't we like make an incentive to, like pet the dogs like well incentive's already done but like maybe i can find like a spot like in the game to pet the dogs like oh perfect i can do it while we're waiting for fugin to like you know uh repel the the three arzeros in the rampage tutorial i was like okay cool yeah we can just do it then and when i did it everyone cheered and i was like oh that's cool oh, that's that's cool that's actually really you awesome know? what the fuck yeah that, that was Dude, awesome like honestly the, the chat and everything was like yeah. it was wholesome like it, it's just so the I, whole I event is see, wholesome I couldn't see anything. I all I saw was like my game, right? So like mm -hmm. I couldn't see chat, like I couldn't see the donation, I couldn't see the, the the time, like anything. And so at the end of it, I was like, all right, how long it was it? Like what are we like what are we at? And and then like that's like bubble was like, we're only a hundred and twenty away from a million. And I was like, what? <laughs> During Monster Hunter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You mean what? <laughs> oh my but gosh. It was, it was you must have been on cloud uh, nine holy shit oh dude i was i, w I felt so good after that uh, but what was really unfortunate is that we were starving afterwards like oh yeah i was light i was lightheaded walking off that stage i was on an adrenaline high and i was so fucking hungry yeah and i was exhausted because at that point i was awake for 20 hours <sighs> and i had two hours of sleep the night before so i was i was i was f Gosh. fucking done like my body was like you did it we made it this far it's time to to shut down <laughs> and uh good lord yeah, so, dude. Like, I, what i wanted to do was like go back and like sit in the crowd and like hang out or like like stay nearby and like and like do that stuff but like, it was it was really humbling because someone from the press like the like someone that does a, a gaming um news outlet grabbed me and wanted to talk about the run i was like okay that's cool let's there do that go. that's neat yeah, I saw so. that on Twitter, and like it was some uh, someone like grabbed you for an interview or something. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Yeah. Nope it was it was it was a very very cool experience. It was cool to be on on that side of it. Oh yeah. And uh, and I mean now I'll just be submitting Monster Hunter games, you know, to to GDQs going forward. But I'm gonna try to like use this to also. So it's not like I want to be the one showing Monster Hunter there all the time. Like no, like it's 
you know, I just, I'm, I'm the one that has like the stage presence and the ability to do that right now. But if other people like want to do that, like, I don't want them to be dissuaded from it. So I'm, I'm going to try to work with the community on building, um, like IL showcases and like working on like relay race showcases and stuff like that. So things like other, other showcases that even apply to IL levels that are an hour, hour and a half long that can be showcased in a marathon setting too. Oh you yeah. Know? Cause like, I think, I think a relay race would be really cool. You know, like two teams of three and it's like, uh, 10 quests and you know like it's like like you me and liz versus like like uh, green johnny and and gig right whatever yeah. <laughs> like, like it's just like 3v3 and then like when i finish a quest like you do the next one and then and then liz is the next one and so on and then you just do that until whatever team finishes first and then they win like that would be a really cool like showcase that. that'd be so cool like the, and, but we... it'd be like speed running ils it would be it, it, you know like high level high execution gameplay taking yeah. advantage of like every every mechanic available to you oh yeah i mean like what you're doing right now you're doing so much already you're doing the um you did the event with nightside which was the mm -hmm. speed running event which was ended yep. up becoming a, a huge success like probably even huge bigger than success. what you both ever imagined literally so was, twice the amount of success that we anticipated yeah so like you're making moves bud you're doing things and, like <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna keep getting better at it and i'm i'm all yeah. here for it i'm excited no uh, and i appreciate that and thank you because you 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 help support that like literally this guy so we we it, to, to pull back the veil some to to you guys we both work on the shorts and when i say that i mean scoy does mostly all of the shorts work and then i'll try <laughs> to like do some occasionally um because I'm bad at planning my time, but like we, we try to like split it up half and half, right? There's six days we want to put out shorts. So I'll do three. You'll do three. Yeah. And last week I was like on, like on Wednesday, I was like, it's going, I can't, I can't do a short. Like I, I gotta go to bed. I was like, already I working on it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, he, it wasn't like a, like, like, come on, man. Like, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't like harping on me. He wasn't like, he wasn't like getting upset. He was just like, no problem. I'll take care of it. You focus on GDQ. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, oh my God. So oh, yeah. like I legitimately you took off. Yeah. You, you, you took off like a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and like a lot of like, you know, worry that I had. It's like legitimately, truly like, thank you. Because like there, there are like a handful of people that, that made this event, like what it was for me. And you are one of them. So thanks. Don't make me cry. Don't you fucking dare. No, I'm, I want, I, I, I want, I want to make you cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on on stream. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I had a feeling like you were already dealing with like airplane issues and you're already, oh my God. you're also like dealing with like, the anxiety <laughs> and stress of GTQ. So I wanted to like, yeah. I wanted to like take something off your shoulders and like it, it was easy to like get a bang out like a short a day. Like that's what I was mm -hmm. doing. That has how, that's how I was managing it. So I can manage my time to do other things as well. Um, yeah no yeah like dude that was no problem like if there's ever a time that happens again for you i would do an rp like don't mm -hmm. worry about it I and i appreciate that but the next the next one you're coming with me so i mean you're gonna do the stress <laughs> of like being out shorts ahead of time like we did with uh when i went to canada but i'm not as we stressful though out. what we just don't put them out <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, we'll, we'll fly you from Canada all the way to Orlando, Florida for the next one. Gosh, the one for when, like the trip for Canada was probably not not the most stressful, but like that was like probably I don't know I don't know how stressful that would have been or it was like just trying to bang on as, or uh, for both of us trying to bang on as much stuff as we can. Oh my god! Well, because like you you did like six of them before you left, and you said. And you said to me, you need to do six more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I could, I could figure that out. <laughs> and what was really funny is that like, I was like, like checking like every, like every day I was like checking like, okay, is one getting released today? Okay. I think all right, we're good today. Like I can just focus on stream today. It's like, it's one getting released today. It's like, okay, good. Like I can, I can like work on editing a video today. And then I finally got to a point was, oh shit, there's not one tomorrow. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and then like, I would like rush to finish it. And then send it to you be like, look what I've been working on. And you're like, oh, dude, that looks great. I was like, yeah, thanks. It took me three hours. <laughs> and sweet. I did it today. <laughs> and I'm putting it out tomorrow morning. But yeah, no, they're, they're like, I, I had I had a few nights that I stayed up to like one o'clock, like like doing that stuff. But you know, yeah. I, I do what we need to do, right? Like it, it it's it's do what you need to do to like to get it done. And it's not as long as it's not an everyday thing. But like that's we're both working through that, right? Like we're yeah. both like 
designing like new schedules for ourselves and like then like fi- trying to figure out the yeah. balance for our <laughs> workflow because like you have literally two youtube channels that you're trying to manage right now on top of the gamer breakfast which you like legitimately do the majority of the work for i'm not even gonna pretend like i like i <laughs> like i contribute anything more than three shorts and and a couple of funny comments every week oh right man. well it's just so, like, like you have a lot that you're like working on plus also I'm like scripting working. on a lot of stuff right now oh yeah working too but like i'm, I'm trying to like bang out um so it's there's another channel that's being worked out. Oh, wait. <laughs> There's another <laughs> channel that I'm working on right now. I can say this much. I'm not going to say about what it is at all, but like, I'm trying to like get seven videos edited ahead of time. Go. And then when that channel gets released, it's going to be five videos day one and then two videos ahead of time that's going to be released the weeks after. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So there's like content for people to start watching. That's yeah. probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's what I'm going to do with like the new channel that I'm... I'm harvesting and creating. <laughs> yeah, you'll have some people that like watch a video a day, and then you'll have other people that are just gonna like binge all five of them the first day and be like, uh, where's the rest, Scoy? Yeah, I was gonna be like, <laughs> heart attack. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. Working no, on I mean, it. Like, that's good too. Like, if you don't have like time sensitive, uh, like content of like making it like that, like works out really well, you know? And oh, so, like, yeah. and, and we, we've talked about what it is a little bit and so i think it'll work out really really well and so you should all should should stay tuned for that because it's going to be very cool and that's all i'm gonna say before i spoil it oh, okay. <laughs> <Just stop talking>. <laughs> <laughs> before you spoil it like you spoiled my move to canada <laughs> you didn't tell me that was a secret but you see this time you told me it was a secret and now i'm keeping it oh okay good proud there we go. <laughs> it got uh, filed correctly this time <laughs> Uh, the things that also recently came out was uh, unless you want to talk about more about GDQ and this is more I've talked about everything that I need to talk about for that cool so I think we're good Sunbreak where'd he go <laughs> oh hey Sunbreak <laughs> just gave it a while I was gone <laughs> hell yeah I should have gotten got the collector's edition no I'm pissed no <laughs> yeah I got it got wet down yeah, here you're in Florida but, oh well yeah, oh, everything's man. wet here. So I haven't opened it yet, uh, but I'm hoping that the Amiibo box isn't fucked, and if it is, then I have to return it. Oh, no. Get a new one. Just like I had to do the last one. It was really uh, annoying. Yeah, but there, there's a lot of fun. Like, holy shit, the game is great. Y- you I played, played it. it. Yes. I haven't. I'm still... I haven't I'm, touched it. I'm about to hit MR5. There's a lot to do. Like, there's a lot to do. Like, even... I would say even definitely even more than, like, base rise when you were going through the game. That's that. good. Like there's a lot yeah, to do, good. so no, it's... I like that, and like I I figured that too right between the follower quests because like you can like go out of your way and like do follower quests like as you're progressing through the game, yeah. Um, and then there's, I, they they said something else that the follower quests will like do that like the followers can help you on when you reach mm-hmm. like max. So like there's that which sounded like pseudo expedition style stuff. But you know, you don't you don't have to tell me. No, uh, I'm like, not, I, I can I, tell I, you any spoilers. Like we're not. Like, yeah, by I, the way. Just as like a heads up, no spoiler talk. I'm just gonna talk about like my experience in fighting the monsters that are already showcased in the trailers. That's it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't I haven't played it like at all, and I've been like avoiding spoilers. Like I haven't I haven't been on streams at all this week. I was on Brims yesterday for a little bit because he was like still in early, you know, like master rank. Yeah. And so like and so like I I watched him for like a little bit, and then like he started like he's like all right I'm gonna go like fight a new monster. I was like I'm gonna stop watching now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go board a plane that's delayed an hour. <laughs> oh yeah. But um. No, like all the monsters, like all the monsters, the fights have been amazing. Even the one that we've been hating on. <laughs> oh yeah, I I saw I saw um someone tweeted that. Yeah, uh, and I was like, say psych right now. Like, oh no, yeah, it's actually good. And I was like, oh fuck, it's actually good. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like this monster. And there's <laughs> nothing you can do. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like you know what? Yeah, not I mean, gonna we'll, hunt. We'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see. It's gonna get through the game without hunting the monster. <laughs> might might happen. Um, but yeah, I, I like all the bot hunts have been amazing. The hunt with Gorbagala, I did that last night. The the recording is like super jank because I was sleep deprived and um good, good. I, I just looked terrible hunting it, but I had a blast. I was gushing over it the entire time. I, I died and I was oh, like, yeah. I'll take it. I died from gore, and my friends are like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay you need to calm down kid <laughs> yeah pretty much but no it was an absolute blast like the, all the monsters That's are awesome great. 
I can't wait to yeah, fight I'm, the, I'm looking forward the other to monsters. It. Yeah. Oh man. And I'm sorry. It's gonna be exciting. What? I didn't wear a bikini. I know we were supposed to do that and talk oh, about yeah. Pokemon. But I forgot oh, about shit, both. Oh shit, we forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that too. I was too excited about... Skoikini? Skud... Skudka. SGDQ. I was trying to figure out how to say that as a word. You like can't. I was excited about that. I completely forgot about the Skoikini, but we'll get him in one next time. Oh yeah, well I mean I don't like... we'll talk about Pokemon. If people like from GDQ were... Uh, if they were like some people were to watch the podcast, I didn't want them to see me in a bikini, anyways. So why not? But that that would be, I don't want their first impression of me to be me in a bikini. Listen, that worked out with you and Liz. I'm just saying. Well, oh boy, it was Liz. <laughs> wasn't it? Li, li, yeah, it was like Liz's sister. That's the first time she no, saw no, no. you. Was Liz ego. rated the first day Liz met me. She rated me when I was wearing a bikini. Perfect. Yeah. See, look, it worked for that. So maybe it would work. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I end up getting a call. Yeah, it's like, hey, right. can you like get on stage and just talk about stuff like in a bikini? It's like, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And then he's there anyways doing it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, comments or do you, is that all you want to talk about with Sunbreak? Oh, we can do comments or unless there's more <laughs> that you want to talk about. Sunbreak. Like, I, like I said, like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't have anything to, to talk about when it no, comes to, to Sunbreak because I'm not playing it right now. No, that's so true. So if there's but... if there's anything else that like you because I I'm I'm literally like after this I play am, streaming. I'm gonna play Sunbreak. I'm gonna stream. Like I'm gonna make my schedule for this week and then I'm just gonna stream like immediately after this after this podcast. No, so yeah. if you see me live, you know what I did right before this. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, so, I mean, but like, if there's if there's more that you want to talk about, like, you know, that's just like not like super super spoilery. Like, if you talk about like the monsters, and, like that you enjoyed the fights, like I'm I'm fine with that. It's it's more so like I had to mute the term "final boss" on Twitter. Holy like, shit! The day after the game came out, so that's just, that's like the only thing that I'm trying to avoid. TDS, uh, Rage Gaming, and I, I saw think that Rurikon, Like a lot of people were talking about like. If you got, it's a shame that people are getting early access copies and just putting out the final boss like day one. Do Here not now, do that. <laughs> to 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 be fair, hmm? one of the channels that TDS uh, was complaining about is literally called uh, gaming like like final bosses or like like gaming final bosses or something like that. Like their yeah. entire thing is like sharing information about final bosses in video games, but it's shitty that they do that like day one but yeah that's their whole shtick because they did the same thing with like elden ring they did the same thing with world they've done the same thing in every fucking video game that exists oh okay you know and so there's like content around it but though it's the way in which they do it which is here is a thumbnail with the final boss monster in it that you cannot avoid because there is no way to mute certain terms on youtube so i've just stayed off of youtube for days i think i got a spoil for me like i'm not sure but like you know it's just the thumbnail like I, all i saw was like a face and mm -hmm. like for a split second i just like scrolled immediately so i like it's a good yeah. thing <laughs> it, it sucks because i have good short-term memory but not good long-term memory <laughs> but unfortunately <laughs> that went into my long-term memory so now i'm like remembering it <laughs> but um no yeah like it's unfortunate that the some channels out there that get early access copies are just showcasing like the last stuff it's what they do right and like it does it does really suck but you know it's all about curating your own experience yeah and sometimes it's not like the easiest thing to do especially with like youtube but at least on twitter like i literally muted um i muted sunbreak because i was getting anxious seeing other people post about it um i muted uh boss boss monster or fi final boss um and i muted a couple of the monster names just to like stay away from like stuff like, about them yeah you know but like besides that like i mean i I've, I've been i've been pretty much like spoiler free spoiler free nice that's good to hear i pray we, yeah. i pray for you on stream <laughs> i mean i'm going to be honest i don't get a lot of those people like no, i really yeah. don't no but i'm, I'm just know? talking about like if there's someone like random that comes in yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't get a lot of those people. Mm. 
and and when i do i shut it down immediately and my my mods have been like really good about just like removing those spoilers immediately yeah. especially now where i'm like very much like i told my mods because of um the capcom creator we can't interact with leaks and no. like leaked data and no. and like stolen footage and stuff like that like we we can't interact with that like at all like no. it, it can jeopardize us per the tos of capcom creators and that's a you know program that i want to be involved in and just someone coming into your channel and saying like hey did you see this leaked information about this can put us in jeopardy and they delete that shit instantly you know like someone came in off of a raid and it wasn't malicious or anything like that they're like oh like did you see like the leaked info and immediately removed i said hey man you can't talk about leaked info here sorry just can't do it puts no. capcom creators he goes but i didn't i'm like don't fucking argue with me no don't fucking do it <laughs> streamer says do thing you do it you say yes sir yes ma'am <laughs> and then you do it because they're responsible for that space you're you're you get me in trouble and i'll be mad i'll be mad madge even. madge oh my goodness all right do you want, do you want to do comments i pulled it up <laughs> uh yeah you go first since i haven't i don't have comments of you uh what me first uh what was the last ones when was the last comments that we read do we know which which one that was uh, i don't remember there's one by tio from two days ago i can read that real quick if you want do it wait so uh this is from the actual the youtube short i heard we don't <laughs> that's pretty cool uh the sub five fatalist um YouTube short oh, that we got from I'm the Night Side yeah, podcast. I have no idea how this works, but yeah, go ahead and read it. Uh, wait, so if the snowman with the wyvern blast, uh, the R two R T, well, this the the, the bun combination to showcasing. <laughs> I'm not gonna reread that. Uh, the snowman does a hit too. It's 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 weird. I had someone on Twitter explain it to me, and I still don't explain it. But it's a weird way of how like Wormsteak blast damage is calculated when it interacts with a snowman because the snowman has like a couple of hits but the actual damage calculation is glitch like this is an actual glitch and like i confirmed that with like a couple of people when they were talking about it and there's a lot of videos out now from those from those same speedrunners and, and others now that they're doing this and they explain it in the video mm -hmm. so you i i recommend like going out and seeking those um you know just look for the really fast gun land speed runs right now <laughs> yeah. but it's 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 actual like it's an actual like bugged damage calculation that pushes out over a thousand damage an attack on these on these things it's fucking wild i, I can read four i can read another one real quick if that's okay unless you want to read this sure. one uh it's this one with girthy garlic from the the recent podcast taking we did with... all of my taking all of my comments you can read it then go for it no no you do it go down, you already no, said you're gonna do it i mute wow <laughs> see how he treats me uh yeah so this one's this one's from uh, girthy garlic on the uh on the most recent uh gamer breakfast featuring black cat mm -hmm. uh garlic says i agree they should really incorporate stories and even riders into the mainline monster hunter i love the style from riders even if it was a gotcha game true stories one and two were awesome but riders had amazing looking characters uh cloette which if you guys don't know uh uh, Cl uh, Cloette is the pink Rathian uh, rider uh, who ha uh, she wields a bow. She's awesome. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, Cloette was so cute. Uh, we never see that in the main games, but I'm keep, <laughs> but I'll keep my opium. Uh, <laughs> Carly, thank you for thank you for your comment. Thank and you yes, so much. And thank you as well, those, Tio. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tio. Uh, those those designs for riders are like top tier if you've never seen them you need to like go to the monster hunter wiki go to riders and look at the character like design for these because they are they are peak like anime gotcha story designed characters like each one of them has like so much character and like just so much personality just in their designs is so good i have to check that out oh. you should Oh. Makes my D and D brain just so good. <laughs> so much backstory and character goodness. Uh, <laughs> I love character creation. I love backstories. <laughs> Anyways, uh, da, 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 da. what else? Uh, we have one for Arkster, which was from our gore video, like when we we're talking about the, mm -hmm. the what's being showcased in Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Uh, she was actually our guest in one of our previous podcasts as well. One of the early ones, too. Yeah. yeah. 
She says, Lola Shout for content. Shout out to Arxer. Oh, yeah, she's great. Lola for content, my IG reel of normally Pokemon cards hitting 2,000 views when my banger from Astral Radiance gets 200 views. Oh, my gosh, that always happens. Like, when you, yeah. when, like, especially for me when I edit, like, YouTube videos and everything. Uh, I put like a huge, like a big scripted content, just like a good video that I feel um, that I want put out there. It's 400 views. Put up a reaction of Gorbagala, almost two, two, 20,000 views right now. <laughs> 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 so it, it always happens sometimes with like the low effort content. It's just like, it, it, sometimes it just does better. Uh, the high effort yeah. content, especially when it, like, uh, when it takes a lot longer to make, it does get kind of um, degrading a little bit when you post it out there and doesn't do as well. But you just gotta yeah. like, as like hard as it is to say, like you you just have to like keep making that content until something hits to be able to continue that wave. It's yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> but I wish you the best with your with your reels and everything because the the Pokemon card openings are always fun. No, and they are, but like I totally get what she's saying too, right? Because like mm-hmm. even even some of my friends that do like TikTok content for for like TCG, they're like, yeah, like I opened five packs, and uh, the best thing I got out of it was like a reverse hollow, like something rather, and it has like sixteen thousand views. But then like this other one where I literally pulled like a four hundred dollar card has twenty. Yep. Like how the how the hell. This makes no sense, like what the algorithm like picks up sometimes and what it doesn't. It, it sometimes also uh, matters, like when you are able to post things as well. Yo, like, yeah, s- sometimes yeah, yeah, for it, sure. like for some reason that just like you posted it at like a great time and it just like everyone saw that, and then the next one yeah. you post just like eh, well, your friends saw it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your mutuals saw this. Yeah, you got another um, one. I think yeah, that'd be yeah our last I, I got one. I got one more here. So this is from um, the same uh, Game Breakfast podcast number thirty four with Black Cat, um, responding to our our pinned comment uh, on that. You know uh, where we asked, "What are you hyped for in Sunbreak?" Uh, the Jin the Jin Gear. I think that's how we say that, right? Okay. Uh, Jin says, "I can't wait to be absolutely annihilated by monsters again." Personally, and yep. honestly, same. Yep. I cannot wait just to get thrown around and absolutely manhandled by everything. Though I, that already happens to me, like right now in, in, in <laughs> high rank, yeah, and in, in high rank rise. So it's just going to be even more impacted in 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 Sunbreak. But I, I totally agree. Thank you so much for the for the comment, Jin Gear. All right, thank you so much. Oh my god, I, I definitely feel that as well. Especially when I got killed by Gore Magala, I was like, "Oh yeah, Swim. yeah, he killed me." <laughs> uh, hit me harder, Daddy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that <laughs> we're back. We're back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> I think about covers everything though. We got we covered a oh, lot. Oh yeah, we talked uh, about we talked about GDQ. We talked about Sunbreak. We talked about comments. There's literally nothing else happening in the world right now at all. Nope, not at all. That's it. <laughs> Those are the only important things. Well, we'll talk. Uh, if, if no big monster news happens for next snack break, we'll talk about um, Pokemon because, and I'll also be in a bikini top. So I'll be in a bikini <laughs> top then because. Oh, holy shit things welcome all the shit ton of people coming to this channel by the way we're like a last snack break yeah. where we hit 200 and now we're like 240 already i'm like yeah <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> thank you guys so much yeah. welcome 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 yeah you want to end us off joe i guess i guess i can do that yeah all right everyone thank you so much for watching <laughs> this episode of game Break- breakfast snack, snack- break Set, featuring jowl and skoy i think jowl that's been skoy we're kicking the gears uh, we're getting things moving again it's it's moving yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and hey by the time this comes out i'll have played an unhealthy amount of uh sunbreak so how about you go ahead and tell us what your favorite thing like what fa- what what thing you've experienced in sunbreak that's been your favorite that's probably a question what do you like about sunbreak so far that's a better question do that one what do you guys what do you guys like about it so far now that you've been had time to play it and most of you probably finished it because it's been like four days since it came out yeah all right cool that's it Good that's Lord. all i got Skoy. Okay. all right i'm gonna go play sunbreak bye everybody bye. bye goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. i'll see you in okay bye oh, he just like straight up disappeared See that shit?